Hi friends, today we will see how to create a block account uh, in Fintiba. Block account is very important for applying visa rather than I, I would like to say for applying student visa. So I will uh, take you through today uh, for opening block account step by step. You can see this is the um, home page of Fintiba, fintiba.com. If you, uh, after opening the page, if you find uh, if it is in some other language, here is the option to change the uh, language. Currently it is in English, so I am not changing. In your case, if it is in other language, so you can change from here. So scrolling down, if we scroll down, uh, we can see uh, here Fintiba providing us two different type of account. One is Fintiba Basic and another one is Fintiba Plus. Fintiba Plus includes this free travel health insurance and health insurance for your study. Uh, in addition with your block account. So I prefer on this plus uh, service of Fintiba as it is hassle free in uh, and in one go you can cr uh, get bo uh, these three uh, facilities. Uh, mainly you are getting free this travel health insurance which is uh, again uh, mandatory for applying visa and this health insurance this is not free uh, they just help you to uh, register with uh, uh, according to your choice with uh, with a government or a private institution so if you further scroll down you can see this health insurance will further cost you monthly 33.1 euro and for the block account the initial fee is uh, 89 euro and monthly charges 4.9 euro and for the basic the initial block account um, uh, opening block amount uh, account charge is also same so in uh, today's video we will mainly uh, discuss about this uh, plus account so for this you need to click get package now so i am clicking over here it will open a new page here you need to provide your details this is uh, personal details page one so i am specifying my details over here so now we are in the first page of personal details where you need to mention uh, about title which is uh, for my case I mentioned Mr. my first name my surname then uh, whether you have changed your surname or not I have not changed so I specified no date of birth city of birth nationality whether you have second nationality or not for my case, I don't have any second nationality other than uh, Indian. So I specified this as no. Uh, then it is you are single or married. Uh, I mentioned as single. Then reason of stay. Reason of stay in Germany. So here I mentioned as studies. However, you can see there are other options of two. Work, language studies. Um, then if you scroll down job seeking or other so according to your purpose you need to select this then you need to click on continue here you need to mention your uh, date of arrival um, I should say this is just a tentative uh, date of arrival you need to mention for now However, you can change your date of arrival later. Uh, this uh, date of arrival is required because they will issue you a uh, travel insurance. 
there they mentioned from that uh, this date they, your travel insurance will start so i am mentioning zero, zero, four, zero, four, two, zero, two, two. and here you need to mention are you planning to enroll in a german university so you need to mention yes this is your study details and here you now you need to mention um, the details over here will you join preparing language course mm, if yes you can mention yes or you can also mention no if you know or know your uh, your university name so you need to mention yes university na name you need to mention over here so if you type the name you can see here the list of university will come from there you need to select start date also you need to mention here and now continue so that uh, we are now in third page which talks about us tax status so for me uh, i don't have any green card so if you have you can mention accordingly here i am mentioning no and if you um, are you jointly taxed in uh, USA with your US spouse so for my case it is no uh, here everything is no for me so I am going to the next page now this is the fourth page which is choose your coverage so which one you need to uh, you want to select for your student uh, health insurance so if you want to know the details you can see the details over here here they mention the cost it is uh, the first uh, the classic one cost you 33.1 euro per month whereas this comfort one cost 76.8 so for now I am selecting this classic one and going ahead so the next one is your agreement here you need to give your email and telephone number so now we are in the fifth page which is uh, ask you about your email ID and phone number here i mentioned my email id phone number and uh, it is asking also a uh, voucher code i will provide you the code for this so you need to click on yes and you get some euro a small gift from my side for watching this video hope that would be attractive uh, for you uh, so you enter this code over here and you need to give password and finally after entering the in the same page after entering your email id password and the voucher code you need to uh, agree with this agreement uh, you can see the small tick you need to click on those like this it will open also you can read and then acknowledge and finally you need to click on this order now button so they have opened 
your account now you need to go to your email and check in email you basically get a email from their site which comes from no space reply at the red fintiba.com and here you need to confirm your email id you need to go down and here they give one button where you can click or one link is also there anyway you can confirm i am clicking on this uh, blue button so one more tab will open automatically so now they are telling your account has been successfully activated so i am clicking on start now from here the login page will open now the login page will open you need to just simply enter your given email id and password and login so now you can see uh, this is your login now you can see uh, here they are uh, telling on red next step is double check your data you need to click over here and you need to check all the data you have provided something are missing they are telling you need to give your city of birth country of birth detail uh, uh, address uh, with street name all those things and you need to click save data likewise you can see here you need to give your passport information passport number issue date expiry date and from where you issued india or some other country that particular specification you need to specify over here and then save the your information likewise you need to update all of this here uh, you can see tin number and they are asking this tin is tax identification number which is for india um, is your pan number so you need to specify that and for smartphone connectivity you can um, uh, give your phone number one second and save it and here you can get uh, some gift if you want you can opt it for my case i have not opted it and the last uh, is a connected email and password if you want to change in this stage you can change those things now i am going to the next step uh, i want to show you what happens next So once you provide all your details, um, you can see this block account. If you go inside this, you here you can if you want uh, to change this monthly block block uh, amount, you can change this. But no need to change. This is the default one which you should have uh, for 12 months according to your study period. So I am keeping this exit from this place currently i have not transferred the amount so it is showing zero here you can see uh, the, they are showing health insurance but the thing which you need to check under this document tab you can find your transfer information this document you need to download and inside this document you can find the details they where they want you to send the money and how you you should send the money in this account those details are mentioned here here it is the contract of your block account if you want you can download over here and welcome guide is also here you can you can download these things if you want after verification you can see this fintiba transfer tab which will help you to transfer your money in my case i use this 
and with a very nominal fees this uh, Fentiba transfer help you to send a uh, money to your block account I use this for uh, this particular portion I will create a separate video how to transfer the money so for today um, my I am ending the video here and I will give you our code for, uh, using which you can get 15 euro in your account so that is a small gift from my side thank you for watching my video have a great day bye bye and if you have any question please feel free to write in my email email id given at the end of this video thank you